House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carle. Hermit Crab had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. He stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me? I must find a new house soon. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside it to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looks so, well, so plain. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are! Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain. It needs you. I come. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the seafloor. How handsome you are! Could one of you be willing to decorate my house? I could. Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are! Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I could. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In June, Hermit Crab came upon a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hard working you are! Would one of you be willing to help clean my house? I would! Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp prickly needles. How fierce you look! Could one of you be willing to protect my house? I would. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark here. How dim it is. How gloomy it is. How murky it is. I can't see. It's like night time. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lantern fish darting through the dark water. How bright you are! Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would. And it swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are! Would you mind if I rearrange you? Not at all. Now my house is perfect. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell was a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon, he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends. The sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They are so good to me. They are like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. 
I have outgrown my shelf. Could you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too. I must move on. You're welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise. The following January, hermit crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. I couldn't stay in that little shell forever. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but... Sponges, barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric gurus. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. The end.